Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be trying out some new and new to me makeup. It's going to include the new Rowan Mood Forever palette. I'm going to use that on my eyes. I'm going to use some new to me shades of the Salt New York tints. I'm going to be using the Victoria Beckham bronzer again. And I'm going to be throwing in a couple of complexion products, the new MAC Face and Body and the new Fenty Bright Fix Concealer, as well as a new to me gloss from Tower 28. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. All right, I've got my base on already and I did use a couple of new things for my base. I used the MAC Studio Radiant Face and Body Radiant Sheer Foundation. So this is sort of their new version of the face and body foundation. I have it in the shade W0. And then I also used this Fenty Bright Fix Eye Brightener, and this is the shade Rose Quartz 01. So I did film that ahead of time. Um, I wanted to get my base down before I did my hair. It's just a little bit easier for me to work that way. So I filmed that, so I'm going to insert that footage and you'll be able to see me using both products. And I also used the Armani Power Fabric Concealer because I felt I just wanted a little bit more coverage, especially for being on camera. So I'm going to insert that footage right now. And so after I did all of that, I just set my whole face with this Becca Light Shifter Finishing Veil, and I have it in the shade Scattering 1. And I used this Smooth Buffer from Sonia G for it. This picks up the product really well. This powder is sort of similar to that Chantecai Blurring Powder, the one that originally came out as the Hummingbird Powder, and now it's out in the flower packaging. But it's kind of similar to that in that it's really like a, a gel powder so it's really not easy to pick up on like a fluffy brush but a stiff stiffer hardier brush like that smooth buffer is perfect for it so i just set my whole face down with that and i've really been loving this powder actually i bought it you know a couple months ago and tried it a couple times and you know didn't really feel very strongly about it one way or the other but i've really been loving it now i know it's really a finishing powder but i've been using it as a setting powder and it's been working great for me it just gives a little bit of a soft blurring and I don't think it really mattifies, which I like. It just adds a little slight satin sort of finish, but it's really sheer. So I, I've been loving that. I'll probably have to pick up a, a couple of backups of that because as we know, Becca is going to be no more as of September. So that's one of their products that I've really come to love. So moving on to the rest of the face, I'm gonna start with bronzer and I'm gonna be using my Victoria Beckham Matte Bronzing Brick again. I've been really enjoying this one and I wanted to use it again today. So I'm just going to go first into the light shade, which is called Dusk. I think that shade just looks so nice and soft on its own, but I want to add a little bit more depth and contour, so I'm going into the contour shade Sunkissed on my Wingoss airbrush. 
these are the same brushes I used in my review of this bronzer. I found I don't like to go too heavy with the darker shade under my chin because it looks really obvious if it's too dark there. So I focus mainly on that lighter shade for under my chin and then sort of just a tiny little bit if I want to use the darker shade, just a little bit right along the edge there. And again, just going back in here into the lighter shade and just making sure it's all nice and blended, and seamless. There we go. And I'm going to do that little bit of lip shading again, just mixing the two shades. And I want to use the bronzer on my eyes too. So I'm going to be focusing on the new Rowan palette, the Mood Forever palette on my eyes, but I'm just going to use the bronzer as a nice little base to build upon with those Rowan shadows. So I think I'll go in first again with the lighter shade. I just kind of want to see how that looks by itself on the eye. Just putting it up in the crease. Yeah, it barely shows up there. It just gives a tiny little bit of shadow. Sets down the concealer a little bit that I had blended up onto my eye. You can see Xander in the background. He might look a little shaggy. I had to give him a bath today because he was, he found a dead animal and he was rolling around in it. So it was pretty disgusting. These are the joys of living in the country. I'm taking my mini booster into that darker shade and just building up a little bit more color in the crease. I'm going to take it on my lower lash line too. I'm just going to mix the two shades together and quickly pull that through and just diffuse it out with the mini booster again. That's just a nice little base to build these Rowan shadows on. I don't mind using the Rowan shadows on their own either, but I just wanted to try that bronzer on the eyes and see how that looks. I'm going to swatch these first, actually. This shade's kind of funny because it's very non-est, as my mom would say. There's not much to it, at least when you look at it in the pan and when you swatch it but I'm thinking that I can use it maybe as like a brightener, either in the inner corner or on part of the lid. Here they are. So there's that first shade. You can barely see it. You can just see a little bit of a sheen right there. The first shade was called Crema. Then Elated is the second one. And then this one here is Toasty. And this one is Impressions. I'm just gonna try you just using my fingers. And I think I'm going to start with this one here, which is Toasty. And this one is a very soft emollient cream. This is gonna be kind of like my transition color. Just putting it pretty much everywhere that I had already put that bronzer. Oh, you can see with the bit of it that got on the lid, it has a really nice shine to it. Next, I'm going to go into this one right here, Elated. This one's much harder texture than the previous shade. And focusing this, I mean, pretty much over the same area. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more reined in than the other shade. But with these shadows, I don't think the idea is to be super precise. Okay. And now with this darkest shade here, Impressions, again, that's the same texture as this one here. Those two feel the same. Just focusing that more on the outer corner. And I'm dabbing with the finger I picked it up with and then kind of blending it with a clean finger. I'm gonna try with this one here and you know what I think I'm gonna try a brush with this one because it wasn't that easy to pick up and blend out with my finger actually so I'm curious to see if a brush is gonna make it a little easier I have my refer 21 here I'm going right into that crema seems to be picking up all right on the brush 
and I'm gonna put that right on the lid. And that actually looks really beautiful on the lid. So it is giving me more once it's on the eye. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a really smooth, it's still shiny, but there doesn't seem to be glitter in this one like some of the other shades have. And crema is a perfect name for it. It's a really beautiful cream color. And it does, like with the texture of it and the color, it kind of reminds me of a crema on, on top of a coffee. Really beautiful. And I want that on my inner corner too, so I'm just gonna take a smaller brush. This is the Refer 03 into that same shade. So that's the little Mood Forever palette. Quite happy with that. I think this look is really pretty. I'm gonna finish it off with some liner and mascara. So I'm just gonna take my Chantecaille Jasper liner on my waterline and then the Marc Jacobs mascara and I'll be right back. Now, before I move on to the rest of the face, I just wanted to show a couple of comparisons with two of my other Rowan palettes. So I've compared this one from the 1111 palette that's called Chow and I have that next to Elated from the Mood Forever palette. So that one's Chow and that one's Elated so you can see those are actually quite similar shades. Then here I have Nikki Dust from the 75 Degrees palette and Toasty from the Mood Forever palette. So again so, you know, pretty similar shades, but the one from the Mood Forever is just a bit lighter. And then last, I wanted to compare J'adore from the 75 Degrees palette. That's this one right here. To Impressions from the Mood Forever palette. So similar depths there, but the one from Mood Forever is more peachy and warmer, whereas the one from the 75 Degrees is more bronzy brown and a little bit cooler, I think, and a little bit darker too. So probably if you were to combine the 1111 and the 75 degrees, you could get a similar look to what you get with the Mood Forever, but these give together a different look than you'd get with either of those palettes on their own. So I wanted to move on to blush and highlight now, and I'm gonna be using my Salt New York palette. And I want a peachy coral cheek. So I'm gonna be mixing this peach shade and this coral shade for my blush look today. And starting off with the peach shade for my main color, and then just, I'm gonna pop it with the coral shade. peach on its own and then I'm going into coral rub my fingers together to diffuse it a little bit and just tap it really lightly more on sort of the apple the high points of the apples of my cheeks and I'll probably top this off after I've done my highlighter but for highlighter I'm using salt New York products again and I'm going to be mixing pearl with beige those are two of the radiant tints and I'm just gonna mix them together and put them on at the same time. The pearl shade is very bright on its own, which I like, I love to have that option. But for this look, I think it's nice to just add that little bit more warmth and tone it down a little bit with the beige shade. And I did just pop between peach and coral again, and I just wanna top it off right there. Now I could put those tints on my lips too. I really like the way peach and coral look together on my lips, but instead today I wanted to pull out this new to me gloss from Tower 28. This is in the shade Spicy. And I had bought a little set of the four mini Tower 28 glosses that came out over the holidays, but it didn't include this shade. And this is a gloss shade that I've been really wanting because it's a really fiery kind of warm tomatoey red and it's really nice. I should mention I did have lip liner on. I have 
the Victoria Beckham 01 just around the edges of my lips. Now, historically, I've not been much of a lip gloss girl, but I've been enjoying it more lately, actually, and coming around to it. And I think these Tower 28 ones are really nice. They feel so nice on the lips. They feel really nourishing, but not sticky at all. And I think the finish of these ones is so cool, the jelly ones, because it really does look kind of like a jelly lip. And they're just a lot of fun. And I think the color, especially of this one, is just so nice for spring and summer. So this is the completed look today. And let me just sort of round up my thoughts on these products. So the MAC Face and Body, I really like this. I think if I'm going to be using it for being on camera or anything, I definitely need to have a little bit more coverage with a concealer. The Fenty Bright Fix is not strong enough as a concealer on its own for some of the places where I have like blemishes or pigmentation left over from blemishes. So I like to combine it with another concealer, but I think that this is really great for really truly adding a brightness. So I find it especially nice to add it in with the concealer under my eyes and um, around the corners of my lips. Let me just show you the shades of these. Kind of showed them when I was applying it, but that's the Fenty. So that's the shade One Rose Quartz. So you can see how bright and it's a really cool pinky toned uh, concealer, which is great for my skin tone for that brightening effect. And then I like the MAC Face and Body too. This is the shade W0 because this as well is a really light and bright color, which I think can look just really nice and fresh on a very fair skin tone like mine. So you can see they're actually quite similar in terms of their depth but the MAC probably leans more toward the neutral, whereas there's a lot more rosiness and pinkness in that um, Fenty. But both really nice, light, fresh colors for very fair skin. So I'm happy with both those products. I find that the MAC Face and Body lasts great, um, especially with a little bit of powder on it. So I talked about the Becca powder already, and I really love that. I think it works perfectly with these products. The bronzer, I mean, I've done a full review on that, so I don't think I have too much new to say about that. I'm still really enjoying it. And for the eyeshadow palette, the Rowan Mood Forever, I think this is a gorgeous little palette. It is, you know, it's nothing all that new compared to their other palettes, but I think if you're interested in these colors and you like this kind of look that I was able to get with it, this is a great little palette. And I was especially pleasantly surprised with this crema shade because it looks like it's not gonna do much, but once it's on the eyes, it's really beautiful. The Salt New York blush and highlights. I Again, I've got a whole video on those, but I hadn't used some of the, those shades in the video. I love these shades too. The peach shade especially was really exciting for me because I find that a lot of peaches are very orange and there's obviously orange in this too. I mean, it's peach, but it has a beautiful, bright, almost like a pastel quality to it. Like there must be some white in the base that really makes it pop and helps it to be really flattering and not too orangey on my skin. So I really, really love that peach shade. It's just so beautiful and it goes so nicely with the coral shade as well which is just kind of like a deeper version with a little bit more orange and warmth to it. And the radiant tints I love. I love to be able to mix those two shades. I think the beige one on its own would probably be a little bit, possibly a little bit too deep to use for a true highlighter on me, but mixed with the pearl shade, it's really lovely and I can see myself using those two together a lot in the summertime. And then last but not least, the Tower 28 Gloss in Spicy. I love this. I love the color of it. I love the finish and the feel, and I think it's just such a nice, fresh, and fun lip for the spring and summer seasons. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I'd love to see those. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.